Sea of Thieves is a vast game, with a huge world that over the years has evolved and grown to the point that there are boatloads of rarely known secrets, hidden locations and shrouded experiences. Today we're going to be going over our piratical fantasy's most forgotten places and areas of the game where some of the most truly unique environments and gameplay lie, from most accessible to most hidden. And whilst recording this video, I actually didn't know about one of these on the list, so I can guarantee you there's something here that you won't be familiar with. So if I cover something you didn't know about or haven't seen before, you gotta leave a like. Deal? Alright, let's get into it. And it goes without saying, spoils ahead. Starting with the one you have the biggest chance of having encountered, the Sea Dogs Tavern has been around for a very long time, being added four years ago with the anniversary update. But since the decommissioning of the arena and the death of DeMarco, it hasn't received very much attention other than the A Hunter's Cry Adventure, where a parallel version of it was manifested in the Sea of the Damned. If you head right to the top of this tavern, you'll get to a secret office, where there are paintings of DeMarco and Lacedi, which is significant because they have daggers in them. And note that the daggers in Lacedi have actually missed, it's the ones in DeMarco that have hit. It's now pretty safe to assume that this was Amaranta's secret hiding place she used to plot her ascent to the Dark Brethren. Pretty cool. All of you will have probably passed, most even visited, the island of K9, nicknamed Dog Island by the community, leading to Rare adding a dog on it. Despite this island being used for various tall tales, a lot of you might not know that on this uncharted location is a secret underwater passage. Following this passage will lead you to a small hidden cave with a skeleton throne in it. Perform the sit emote on this skeleton throne and you'll unlock a neat commendation. The Reaper's Hideout has a lot of history behind it, and actually used to be two separate uncharted islands before it was taken over by Flameheart's forces. Part of the wreck of the killer whale, Merrick's ship, was used to construct this nefarious place, but the original wreck can still be found nearby. This ex-uncharted island used to be home to a beautiful coral reef and many ancient ruins. There was even a secret passage just like K9 has, but that was blocked up by the Reapers long ago. If you swim around the island, you might even find a great trench with the skeleton of a kraken in it. Speaking of, something that used to be common knowledge but has faded away is the ancient ruins. These were a hot topic when it came to speculation back in the early days of Sea of Thieves, but now, not so much. As I mentioned, some used to be at Reaper's Hideout, but since they were removed, I wasn't going to include this on this list. That was until N13 came to my attention. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past four years, I'm sure we've all definitely experienced at least part, if not all of, the Shores of Gold Tall Tale Saga. One of the locations these tales takes us to is N13. I'd expect we all know about the ancient cavern wreck of the magpie's wing and the stunning underwater ecosystem. However, it was recently highlighted to me that there are some of the last old ancient ruins here. On the surface, this island looks like a sandbank. But dive down, turn around and head to two cylindrical pile of rocks a little way off. Swim into the opening and voila, the remains of the ancients. Our best guess for what these were, which we're pretty sure about, is that they were portals to the Sea of the Damned, and I and others are certain that these were actually the ruins used by the crew of the Morning Star to travel to the Sea of Tribute and the Ancient's capital in the Heart of Fire novel. For those who haven't read it, seriously, do. It's phenomenal. You've probably all been to the stunning island of Mermaid's Hideaway in the Shores of Plenty, but something you might have missed is the Mermaid's Passage. This is a secret underwater network of tunnels under the island, with the centerpiece in this room here, which looks stunning. Perhaps it's the remains of an old merfolk meeting place, or perhaps something else. One thing's for certain though, Mermaid's Hideaway has a lot more history to it than we know. Cursed Sails in many ways was what kicked off the events of the whole Sea of Thieves storyline post-launch, and centred around Captain Warsmith, better known as Wanda. Wanda discovered the remains of Flameheart's flagship, the Burning Blade, and took a cannon from its wreck. 
In turn, she became cursed whilst developing the cursed cannonballs. Her alchemy lab resides on Wanderer's Refuge. Very well hidden, my eye. Spinning a skull on the table reveals the doorway further in, and to a destroyed tribute to Flameheart. For those who don't know, after he rejected her love for him and laughed in her face, she left him for the Dark Brethren, destroying what was once an obsession with him. In this location, we can see an open box of wondrous secrets, a means of communicating with those in the Sea of the Damned. The Sunken Kingdom was discovered by pirates in Sea of Thieves of Pirate's Life, and then expanded on in Season 4, which added shrines and treasuries. Newer pirates may not know that if you're brave enough to explore the Sunken Kingdom and learn the history of the Siren Queen's war on ancients and the merfolk, you'll unlock the legend of the Sunken Kingdom. A lengthy voyage which will reveal the truth behind the Siren's conflict and how the war ended. The Shrine of Ancient Tears is the resting place of one of the great ancient warriors who gave the ultimate sacrifice to allow for a new age of peace. The murder of DeMarco was a terrible tragedy, and us pirates were determined to find out who his killer was in the first ever Sea of Thieves mystery. Part of this led us to the wreck of the Howling Wolf, the shipwreck of DeMarco's final ship he ever sailed on. This isn't your average remains of a sunken vessel though, it sank deep into the depths of J7, and if you can find the small amounts of debris left, you might be able to make it safely down using air pockets provided to this unique shipwreck, which has a lot of interactable pieces. During the mystery, there were journals here, but since it's over, the fallen Sea Dog's lantern has sadly lost its power. Considered one of, if not the, best experience in Sea of Thieves by many, and the second most hidden secret Sea of Thieves has to offer, the legend of Glitterbeard is a tribute to James White, an apprentice data analyst who worked at Rare, though sadly passed away during March of 2020. If you can find his journal scattered throughout the Sea of Thieves world, upon which there are many of, you will learn the story of Glitterbeard and find out how to unlock the final secret which is a truly memorable moment for all, never getting old, giving you access to Glitterbeard's hideout. A stunning location within Sea of Thieves, a very fitting tribute to this amazing man. Sea of Thieves' biggest secret is the finale and climax of the murder of DeMarco. Though the mystery is over, this tall tale-like experience will be remaining permanently in-game, so you can still go and see this for yourself, which I highly recommend. Seen as the fallen Sea Dog Lantern has, as I say, unfortunately lost its functionality, amongst other pieces of the puzzle, I'll link my guide on how to unlock the ending in the top right now. However, in brief, on five islands throughout the map Wanderer's Refuge, Smuggler's Bay, Kraken's Fall, Old Faithful Island, and Ashen Reaches, playing Ballad of the Myrrh in certain spots will reveal murals. Activate these five murals, sail down and dive into the Shrine of the Coral Tomb, and the path to the truth will be revealed, where you'll find out the culprit, their motives, and see how the mystery ends, alongside getting a commendation and unlocking a new Bilgerats tab. And if you needed any more reason to do this ending, it contains a few characters which are very important to the Sea of Thieves storyline. One of which we haven't seen in quite a long time. This new location inside the shrine is one of my, if not my favourite Sunken Kingdom location and is up there with some of the best places in Sea of Thieves. The whole area is incredibly expansive for a mystery and looks visually phenomenal. 
The music, visuals, voice acting, puzzle, and the whole experience make this something I will always remember. And it goes without saying, the reason why it's number one on this list is because it's so hidden. If you weren't around at the time, you just wouldn't know this existed, and there's virtually no trace of it in-game that you can find, putting it at number one. I do love experiences like these, where you only know about them if you know about them. Did you know all these? If you did, well done, you've done better than I did. There are tons of secret places within Sea of Thieves, so it's worth giving notable mentions to the Reaper's Lair, Pirate Legend Hideout, Guardian's Hideaway, Entire Sea of the Damned, Capital of the Sunken Kingdom, Coral Fortress, Siren Spire, Trickster's Lair, Stitcher Jim's Lair, Heart of Fire, Flame Heart's Tomb, Old Sailor's Isle, Wreck of the Morning Star, N13, and The Shores of Gold. All excluded due to not necessarily not being secret, but due to them either being in Tall Tales or Endgame content, meaning they're more accessible and you can easily find them if you know where to look. This list was meant to contain the true secrets of our shared piratical world, but it goes without saying there are so many more locations which are light years off the beaten path, if you could find them that is. So go explore, I can guarantee you'll find so many things you've never seen before. And if you haven't done the game's tall tales for some reason, what are you doing? Go and delve into the hours of story content Sea of Thieves has to offer, where you'll find some of, if not the best experiences within the game. That does just about bring us to the end of this video though. Let me know down in the comments below which of these did you know and which of these did you find out. I hope you learned something new after this video, but thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.